Still, 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 tis a wondrous tale I tell. On starlit night in stable lowly came the Son of God most holy. Still, 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 tis a wondrous tale I tell. Sleep, sleep, tis the eve of our Savior's birth. And Mary in her arms enfolding Hope of all the world is holding Sleep, sleep, sleep Tis the eve of our Savior's birth Sing, while Jesus lies in manger dreaming, seraph of course from heaven are streaming. Light, 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 let all the earth be light. The holy star is news of Sign of hope for nations raising Light, light, light Let all the earth be light Still, still still is the voice each heart can
Good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas Eve. I just want everybody to take a deep breath. Exhale. If it's not done already, it's not going to get done, and it's okay. Because here we are, Christmas Eve. My name is Pastor Randy Schrader. Glad that you're all here worshiping with us. Thank you if you are joining us online. Um, there will be a time for you to commune with us as well as when the time comes. So let us begin. I'll ask you to all stand as you are willing with our welcoming dialogue. Rejoice, for God is with us, Emmanuel. The darkness of the world. Now there is reason to hope, to love, to laugh, and to live. God is truly with us. We are not alone. Glory to God in the highest, and God's peace to all people on earth. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, with joy and thanksgiving, we gather as your people. We have come to hear again the timeless story of Christ's birth. In the excitement of this night, quiet our hearts that we may know the peace and fullness of this holy time. Shine, O light, in the darkness of our world, in the stillness of our hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among us. This we pray in the name of the child of Bethlehem. Amen. Life is richer when shared with others. So it is with worship. We have met together to share the mighty blessing of the season. When we worship and meet the God of Christmas, we experience what the season is meant to be. You may be seated.
reading from Isaiah 9. The people who walk in the darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of the deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authorities arrest upon his shoulder, and he is named a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall go continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David. In his kingdom he will establish and, and hold it with justice and righteousness from this time onward forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. In Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it.
A reading from Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of meeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit has come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. A reading from Matthew, the first chapter. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man, was unwilling to expose her to public disgrace planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son. And he named him Jesus.
A reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. There were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors.
had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is, shepherd, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
And so it came to pass that the word of the birth of the Christ child spread throughout the region. People rejoiced that the promise had been kept and they believed. There were some who could not understand the power of deliverance through love and they wondered how this tiny child could indeed be the promised miracle, the savior and king, the prince of peace. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. was born, O night divine, O night, O night divine. break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name Christ is the Lord, let ever, ever praise we, Noel, Noel, O oh, night, O oh, night divine, no. I ask you to please stand as you are willing. Let us pray. Merciful God, we confess that often we find darkness more comfortable than light. We confess that we find your good news frightening and unsettling. 
especially when we consider his demands as well as his promises. We confess that Christmas has become more to us than the birthday of Christ, partly because we do not want a Christ child in our lives or in our world. Forgive us, break us, bend us, remake us. Give us the courage to lay ourselves open to the wonder of healing of your coming. Be born again into our world. Be born again into our hearts and lives. Hear now our silent and personal confessions as we prepare ourselves for your nativity. The true light that enlightens all has come into the world. That light shines on in the darkness, and the darkness has not, has never been able to put it out. This is the good news. God has heard our confession. God has forgiven our sin. Thanks be to God. May it be well with you. Life is a gift, and we are to celebrate it. We celebrate tonight God with us beyond our words, beyond our imaginations, for we know God is beyond those things. But tonight, we find joy in the image of God coming to us in the form of the Christ child. We sense God's presence in creation and in the immensity of our universe, in the incredible display of life on this planet, and in our consciousness of something far greater than ourselves. As God's children, we rejoice in the birth of Jesus. In him, we see the fullness of possibility to make God visible in our lives. Like all of us, he grew in wisdom as he aged. He questioned. He searched for meaning. He shaped his convictions. He experienced love and came to know love's connectedness with God. He stood firmly in his own religious tradition and preached good news to all people dreaming of a better humanity. We rejoice that he taught us not to imagine a manipulative intervening God, but one who is as close as breath and as soft as a whisper, yet as powerful in the focus of our lives as were the mighty warriors of the Old Testament, but drawing us toward the good. We rejoice that Jesus led people to discover the sacred in the ordinary, in the lowly, in the everyday life, in human yearnings to be better people, and in being neighbor to one another. Bread and wine, the fruit of vine and earth, he gave us these to keep us connected to the story. We remember the night before he died, according to our tradition, when he shared a meal with his friends. And the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. We break bread as Jesus did, remembering the call to love generously and faithfully, whatever the cost. We pour out wine, remembering our responsibility to be bearers of forgiveness, forgiveness, tolerance, and understanding. 
May these ordinary things be blessed, for they represent both the ordinary and the extraordinary, as Jesus calls us to follow him. The mystery hidden for the ages is revealed for us in this meal. Come, behold and receive your God. You may be seated. I'll invite the communion assistants to come up front here. We'll commune one another, and then there'll be a time for anybody who would like to commune in the pews as well as those who are viewing from home, and then we'll invite everyone to come forward. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Amen. And now for any who would like to commune in your pew, or those at home, please prepare the bread. This is the body of Christ broken for you. And now the wine of the juice. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. And now we'll welcome them to come forward.
you please stand as you are willing and able? Let us pray. We are filled with joy, for we have heard good news of great joy. We are filled with love, for we have tasted the sign of God's great love. We are filled with hope, for the angels still sing in our world, and there is a light for us to follow. We give you thanks, O God, that in this bread and cup of Christ's very life, you give us food for our journey. As you led the Magi by a star, as you brought the Holy Family home again, guide us on the way unfolding before us. Wherever we go, may our lives proclaim good news of great joy in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a group sent by God who was known as the church. They came as witnesses to testify to the light so that all might believe through them. They themselves were not the light, but they came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, has, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
As we go from this place, we take the joy of the promise of God's salvation with us. We sing the praise of the angel's song, glory to God in the highest and peace to all. Go tell the story from ages past. The promised holy child has come at last. For unto us a, is born a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God and creator of light, a child is born for us and a son is given to us. Your eternal world, your eternal word leaped down from the heaven in the silent watches of the night. And now your church is filled with wonder and light as the nearness of our God. Open our hearts to receive his life and increase our vision with the rising of the dawn that our lives may be filled with, this, with his glory and his peace who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. God, the creator who delights in you, Jesus, the savior who is born for you, and the life-giving spirit who shines on you, bless you and keep you in hope and peace. Amen. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God.